Welcome everybody to my review of Dark. I am the Seventh Sword and now it's time to go over this beautiful indie title brought to us by Unfold Games. So let's get right into it, shall we? First, I want to go over presentation. This is an indie title and it is a gorgeous indie title at that. The art direction is superb, the way they use lighting in the environments is beautiful, and the animations are just very, very, very well done. There are a lot of sequences and segments in, in this game that are just really impressive. You know, for example, there's later on in the game, you go onto a train and things actually move and jumble around and stuff like that. Very, very, very impressive and there's just a lot of attention to detail. So you can tell that a lot of hard work and time was put into it. And just the way the game plays on perspective and everything, it just... It's, it's very nice to look at. Next, let's move on to gameplay. This game is definitely very heavily puzzle focused. There are a few stealth elements in the game as well, but definitely focuses more on the puzzle aspect. And the puzzles are really, really fun, especially once you figure out how they work and you solve them. This game also likes to throw a lot of perspective at you, and it does it quite a lot and quite well and you have to remember that you have these abilities at your disposal otherwise you're not going to be able to solve these puzzles now the puzzles aren't extremely difficult but what does kind of mess with you a little bit is you forget at least I did in my case I forgot that I could do some of these things and I, ha I could go down paths that normally you wouldn't be able to go down but because you're in this dream and you have this ability you're able to go down these paths that you normally wouldn't be able to and once you figure all that out and when it all clicks together it feels very 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 nice so the controls are very simple you have a stealth you have a run and then you basically find items very similar to Myst. If you've ever played Myst or King's Quest, games like that, those old school adventure games, where you would find key items and you would use them at certain points in order to continue moving forward. That kind of gameplay is what is at the root of Dark, and I think it works very, very well. Moving on to the sound design. Now, the sound design in this game is extremely, extremely immersive. You feel like you are in this dream, you feel like you are experiencing this nightmare, and there are a lot of amazing sounds that I don't want to ruin for you. I'm trying to keep this review as spoiler free as possible, but you know, I have to show some of the game off. But there are moments and segments in this game where there are specific nightmares and specific sequences where the sound design is excellent. Excellent. I can think of one specific example that I don't want to say here, but to anyone who's played the game, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's, uh, it's really, really, really well done. From the pitter-patter of your main character's footsteps, to trains grinding to a halt, The sound design definitely helps immerse you in the experience and makes you feel like you are part of that world. Alright, so here's my verdict. I enjoyed Dark thoroughly. There are a few secrets and hidden knickknacks you can find for replayability, but other than that there's not that much. The game lets you go back and play any chapter you've unlocked, which is a very nice feature, so that you don't have to worry about going through the whole game again if you just wanted to experience one segment or you missed one secret. But I mean, it's a really, really great experience, and I recommend it to anybody who loves indie horror games, though uh, anyone who loves puzzle games. I mean, it's it's a it's a must it's a must buy, and I also have to give out kudos to the developer for turning down being on Epic Game Store. That was a very bold move, especially for an indie developer. When someone comes to you and they give you an opportunity to publish your title, and they give you extra money or something like that, it's difficult to say no. So the integrity of the developer is definitely shown by his actions, or shown by their actions. And you gotta really appreciate things like that because there's somebody who had a vision for their game and they executed it the way they wanted to and they didn't sell out. And that's very rare these days. So, I mean, overall, the game is fantastic. I recommend it to anyone who loves indie horror games and puzzle titles. Definitely, definitely.
worth picking up. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll see you guys later.